Now, bear with me, because I was thinking about this the other day. Um, and time waits for no man or woman. Um, and in 25 years' time, okay, the 90s will be our equivalent of Motown in terms of the past. So in 25 years' time, people will look at Motown, uh, people will look at the 90s and go, the golden age of their musical history, and there will be weddings, social club discos, all these really like white people events that happen. Not that, you know, other races don't get married, but they don't kind of obsess over music from the past quite as much as the the, the, the white man does. Um, so what three songs do you think will be played at every single social club slash wedding disco, Andy? Right, okay. So the first one I've gone for is Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. <laughs> this will be the song they will put on when the buffet's just finished, to get everybody back onto the dance floor, <laughs> I think. Right. Everyone will go flocking, because everyone wants to sing that pissing the night away a bit at the end. The next one that I've gone for is Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden. This will oh. be the song where all of the couples get together for their slow dance in a circle, just going around, that's the do. You'll either have all the couples, or you'll have all the singletons who will be taking the piss, doing the actions, you know, the... Stand with you on a mountain and, and all of that stuff. So I think that's what that one will be. And then the other song that I've got is Torn by Natalie Umbrulia. That will be the song where all the mothers hit the dance floor and, you know, do their side shuffle around <laughs> their handbags. <laughs> oh, my God, that's fantastic. That's a, those are some great shouts. G, what about you? I mean, I just want Andy to get married so we can do this for real because I think all of these and all of mine were at mine. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, it's, it's it, you might as well just call it the beige buffet wedding because that's what it is. Mm. Um, yeah. All you've got to think about these are all going to be like in your late fifties, early sixties. So the youth going to see these and be like, "Oh, it's old fart music again." So yeah. keep that in mind when you have your pick, crash too. Oh, oh, I have. I, I've, I mean, narrowing this down was hard enough, and I've kind of went for things that. Because whenever about ten comes on, and you got the people with the handbags on the floor dancing around them, they all know the words to every single thing, even though it's supposed some of it doesn't make any sense at all, and you can barely hear the words. So for that reason, I said mysterious girl by Peter Andre. <laughs> and every everyone knows the bull rant, rank section, even if they don't admit it, they do. Uh, the second one, again for the for the kind of slow dance area, as long as you love me. They're backstreet boys, because it's the rules. And the other one, I, I thought a bit, I thought, have I ever heard this at a party? And I've heard it at every party I've ever been to. The Rembrandts, I'll be there for you. Yeah, we'll be. That'll um, be like a song yeah. of the generation, won't it? I suppose, yeah. like, at that point. Oh, very good. Um, I went for, um, so, like, the kind of anthemic one that is the equivalent to me of, like, Come On Eileen, but... <laughs> Like then, or, or like when that comes in, we'll be um, we'll be sit down by James, <laughs> um, which I think will kind of end up being like that version of that song. Yeah, um, I ended up going for "There She Goes" by the Lars, mm -hmm. um, as well as a kind of another kind of happy go lucky kind of that kind of song, I guess. Um, and then I think. Like, it will look so bizarre. And I think Peter Kay did a thing on this song. No, he didn't. He did smack my bitch up. Firestarter would be mine by the point. <laughs> because, like, yeah, it would just be that, oh, granddad's gone wild. Let's hope he doesn't piss himself again. Like, that kind of, like, <laughs> that kind of thing, really. Um, but, uh, you know, of all of the questions, dear listener, I'd really like to know what you think would be the three songs that, like, get played in 25 years' time to represent our version of kind of the golden generation of music um, yeah. and put it in the comments.